is Calvin Kastein. It's May 11th in the year 2000, and even though this is a Thursday, it's the first uh, outdoor event we've been able to tape, and I've been able to tape this week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday games were rained out, and we're hoping that the uh, same thing won't happen here. I don't think we're going to get rained out, but we might get rained on. Northeastern Clinton is visiting the Plattsburgh High School Hornets. But it's a Cougar home game. This game is scheduled for Northeastern. So the Hornets will bat first. This is Kathy Ellen Davis. She's going to lead off for Plattsburgh. Officials tonight, we have uh, Jim Varon behind the plate and Bob McConey umping on the bases. Kendra Young is on the pitching rubber for the Cougars, and it looks like Margie Faye behind the plate. She's been playing infield last time, all the other times that we've seen her, but it looks like Faye behind that mask. Kendra Young on the mound, having a good season. At first base, Dana Langlois, second baseman Amanda Dubuque. Shortstop is Brenda Bailey. There's a ball hit to the left side. It's going to be a fair ball. Aaron Garen gets a, a hand on it. It's going to be out of play. Fair ball by about a yard, and Davis uh, got up a little mud rounding second. Uh, lost some traction. She was uh, on her way into third, not knowing if that was uh, out of play or not. And she was doing, uh, doing uh, everything she could just to keep herself on her feet. Now, uh, Jaja Cablet, the shortstop for the Hornets, will step in. With a runner in scoring position and nobody out here. Takes it high, ball one, that'll move Davis to third base. Tisha Super now is at third base. I think we got as far as Brenda Bailey when we were talking about our defense. Bailey's at short. Aaron Garens in left. Christy Jarvis in center. And Jenna LaBombard in right field. Strike called, says Jim Barron. Coach. John Fountain giving the signs at third base. Says it's high, it'll be two and one. Temperature is probably no higher than the mid 50s. It's a little cool out here. Has bunted foul, that'll be strike two, even the count. Two balls and two strikes. Young delivers, low and outside. Ball three, full count. We'll have a payoff pitch. Davis at third base. Nobody out. Here's the delivery. Ooh, it must have been outside. Right down the center of the strike zone, but must have been off the plate. So Cablet walks, and it'll bring up Jenny Manabut, the Hornets pitcher. The runners at the corners will look for the steal by Cablet. I mean, no steal on that first pitch. It's lined into left field. An RBI single for Jenny Manabet. Now, Majo Cablet, the catcher, will step in for the Hornets. Nobody out. Runners at first and second. Plattsburgh looking to have a big inning. Strike one. Starting to feel like a winter coat day here. I've got a spring jacket on, but uh, I think before we get to the next half inning, I'll be wearing my winter coat. <laughs> Playing at South Acres, this is a, a field we haven't uh, taped at before. This is uh, the only field they could probably get ready in time. It's chopped to the left side. It's going to be through. And Manabot. Safe. Safe. Waited too long. Going to get that ball right away. If you lose her, you want to chase her back to the base she was coming from. So that throw should have been there much quicker. You don't wait. And hoping for a sliding tag at the base she's going to. You want to get her, she's going to slide in safely. You want her to slide back to where she came from. So the Hornets are in the midst of what's looking to be a big inning. 
Now, Cablet will come out, and we've got a courtesy runner here, Kathleen Gannon. It's a new rule this year in high school girls softball. Pitcher and catcher can be run for with a courtesy runner. So it'll be a player that's not in the lineup at the moment. It's a speed-up rule. The catcher, as you're well aware, needs to put her gear on, and pitchers need to stay warm, and so on. So pitchers and catchers can be run for with a courtesy runner. This is Keely Sullivan. She's a center fielder. Runners at second, third, two in for the Hornets, and there's still nobody out. Strike called. Strike two. Low. That's hit high in foul territory. It's going to be out of play. Two balls, two strikes is the count. High, ball three, full count. So with nobody out in first base open, we're going to have a payoff pitch. Right down the middle and lined into left field. And it's going to go to third. will allow the runner to go to second. Even if uh, it's all been handled... Uh, I think it would have been a runner at second anyway. Got to, got to get the cutoff, hit the, hit the shortstop at the cutoff, and keep that runner at first base. This is Casey Baker. She's the third baseman for the Hornets. Still nobody out for Plattsburgh. Ball two. Popped up, and then we're going to be out of play. Two and one to count. And a pitch. Popped up. The will we'll squeeze it. We have one down. Our second and third for the Hornets. Now, second baseman Holly Bordeaux steps in. Strike one. Strike two. Young ahead, 0-2 on the count. And the pitch. Ooh, just missed. Two and two. She held up. Popped up. Faye is there and make the catch. Nice job there by Margie Faye, who probably hasn't spent a lot of time in the catching position. That's two down. First baseman Beth O'Neill, the batter. And the pitch. Swings and misses, strike one. I believe she is the eighth batter. Well, there'd be five runs in. Uh, excuse me, three runs in so far for the Hornets. Two outs, two on, three in. And a batter at the plate. Just misses low. Now 2-1 delivery. Low, ball three. Nice stop by Faye. Rip through the left side. We'll probably score two. Here's a throw. It's going to be, oh, safe at the plate. O'Neill. That second. Now bring up Lindsey Myers. 5'11, 
Five runs in for Plattsburgh here in the first inning. Ninth batter, top of the order, Kathy Ellen Davis on deck. In the pitch. Ball one gets away, O'Neill will go to second base. Excuse me, from second to third base. Just misses 3-0. Oh. Certainly don't want to walk the number 9 hitter, but she's going to. Lindsey Myers will go to first. We'll have runners at the corners. Myers, the designated hitter, batting for Michelle Fortier. Now, Kathy Ellen Davis, our fielder. It's the first offering. In play, Faye makes the catch. She uh, caught two pop-ups this inning. Well, she's had a busy first inning. The Hornets send up 10, score half of them, lead 5 nothing as we go to the bottom of the first. <laughs> this is Aaron Guerin. We're in the bottom of the first. <coughs> Strike two is the count. We're just getting reorganized after going to the vehicle and getting a winter coat. This is strike three. Bottom of the first, five nothing. Plattsburgh leading the Cougars. Now the shortstop, Brenda Bailey. Stepping in for Northeastern. Give you the Plattsburgh defense after this pitch. That's ball one. Pitching is Jenny Manabut. The catcher is Majo Cablet. At first base, it's uh, Beth O'Neill. Second baseman is Holly Bordeaux. Shortstop is Jaja Cablet. Strike called. Third base is Casey Baker in the outfield, Kathy Ellen Davis, Keely Sullivan, and Michelle Fortier going from left to right. Strike two. So man about ahead 0 2 with the Hornets leading 5 0 here in the first. <laughs> Talk about being fooled. Don't don't ask Brenda Bailey about that one. She, I don't I don't think she'll want to talk about it. The tablet was going for the changeup. It got halfway to the plate, and Bailey was swinging. Tisha Super now at the plate for the Cougars. Two down, nobody out. Fouls it off. Coach Ron Rivard at third base. Mike Fay helping out at first for the Cougars. Hard hit through the left side. Going to be a base hit. For Superna. Uh, one out, a two out single for Tisha Superna. And it'll bring up Amanda Dubuque. Wind does appear to be blowing out. Here's a pitch from Manabut. Ball one. Strike, throw to first. Supernaz back. That's low. Late start, but she's in there. Supernaz. A late jump, but she made it into second base. Come on, Manny, let's go. Come on, 
Two balls and a strike is the count. In the pitch, chopped third, foul, handled cleanly by Coach Ron Rivard. The first one he's handled cleanly since uh, 1993, I think. And that one was a slow roller. Two two the count, two outs, runner at second, change up. <laughs> And Supana will go back to second. Manabut tried to get Dubuque in the same pitch that uh, she got Bailey on, but Dubuque didn't fall for it. Strike three. So the Cougars are scoreless in their half of the first after one full. Plattsburgh leads 5 nothing. Jaja Cablet at the plate. Pitch from Young is swung on, hit to short center field. It's going to drop in. And Cablet. On safely at first. And bring up Jenny Manabat. Pitcher. He looks at ball one. There's a throw to second. Tablet's going to be in. <laughs> it to left field. Garen makes a nice diving catch. Falls down on the wet turf. But hangs onto it. Well, a nice diving stop there. Nice grab by. Aaron Guerin on a sinking liner from Manabat. Now, uh, Majo Cablet, who's uh, taking a bite out of crime here. Or uh, just a bite out of her shirt. No, she seems to seems to want to bite on her shirt. She rips it through the left side. So we get at least two. She's rounding second. And she's going to be in at third. Safe. we will give her a triple on that one. An RBI triple. And we'll have a courtesy runner again. It'll be Gannon again running for Cablet. Brings up Keeley Sullivan. Sullivan looks at ball one. Sullivan is the center fielder. For Plattsburgh. Young delivers, swings at a high one. One and one. Ooh. Ooh, hitter. Hit her. She was squaring around a bunt. Uh, yeah, kind of took her by surprise, I guess. Batter's got to make an attempt to get out of the way, but I don't think she had much chance to do that. Now Casey Baker, the third baseman. at third. Once again, the Cougars waiting too long to make that throw to third base. I'll say it again. Strike one. You want to get the batter to go back to the other base. If you don't get her out, at least send her back to the previous base. Bunted foul. Oh, 
Well hit, Garen makes the catch. Tagging and scoring is Sullivan. So it'll be a sacrifice fly for Casey Baker. Now Holly Bordeaux, the second baseman, will step in. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. It's not what the weatherman told us here. He said the clearing up afternoon. All these clouds and all this rain is supposed to be out of here by now. Soft liner to Brenda Bailey who makes a nice play out of it. So let's see. Bordeaux, two, four, six batters. Three runs, eight nothing. Plattsburgh leads after an inning and a half. Jenna Lombard, the right fielder, leading off for the Cougars in the bottom of the second. Eight nothing Plattsburgh. Pitch from Cablet. Swung on, foul tipped. 1-1. One, one. Looked like it was going to be low. Right down the middle, but off the plate. 2-1-1. One, one. That's high. 3-1 to count. Strike two, full count. In the pitch. Chop to the left side. Go to first, in time for the out. One down. Now Kendra Young. That play went from Baker to O'Neill. Strike two. Hi. I believe it's a two two count. Down the middle, strike three. Two down, and the catcher Margie Faye will step in. Tablet delivers, strike one. Excuse me, Manabut delivers. Manabut's pitch, a little low, one and one. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Change up. Two and two. Hit to the right side. Got her by half a step. Fade. Nice job hustling down that line. The second baseman Bordeaux was able to fire to O'Neill in time. It's still 8 0 on at the end of two here on Hometown Cable. First baseman Beth O'Neill takes ball one as we start the third inning. It's a high towering fly to left field. Garen makes the play. Nice job by Aaron Garen. Sorry, Beth, you hit it hard. Now the designated hitter, Lindsey Myers, who walked the first time up there. Swings and misses, strike one. Top of the order to follow. One, one. Oh, 
A little well hit ball. This is the center field. Jarvis will not catch it. Myers, number nine in the batting order. Got all of that one. She's going to get at least three out of it. She's going to be sent. The ball's misplayed, and she's going to come all the way around. Uh, we'll give her a triple. The home book might give her a homer, but uh, I think if it was handled cleanly. Kathy Allen Davis up and swinging hard. Hits it to Jarvis for the out. And it's two down. And Jaja Cablet at the plate. Young set and delivers. Bunt. Now we'll handle it. Play the first one not be in time. And Cabot's on with the with the bunt. And it gets us to the pitcher, Jenny Manabat. Gutter. Faye. Players to debut covering. For the out, and we are noticing that uh, among the interesting, interested spectators, the other side of the uh, Cougars over there is a former Cougar, now at Plattsburgh State, now blocked out on us, but uh, Lisa Marlowe pitched a no-hitter for Plattsburgh State uh, a couple of weeks ago. Lisa Marlowe enjoying the ball game. Former Cougars, current Cardinal. Christy Jarvis leading off the bottom of the third for the Cougars. Looks at ball one. No sooner have we finished looking at uh, Lisa Marlowe. And we turn around and uh, there's her mother, Pam Marlowe, over to renew their viewer patronage, viewer support of Hometown Cable. Well, we appreciate the Marlowe family for their continued support of local television. Right. They uh, handed us the money instead of uh, mailing mailing it to 1477 Ridge Road in Champlain. Get to save 33 cents that way. That hitter, well, Jarvis will limp gingerly to first base. Now Chantel Carden will step in. Chantel Carden, the extra hitter today, designated hitter, designated player. Not sure what uh, Jim Barron wants. Wants her <laughs> shirt tucked in. I'm not sure if she did made any changes there or not, but shirt's got to be tucked in. Strike one. Fake throw to first, and Jarvis is back. Even though this game is being played at Plattsburgh, at South Acres, it's a Cougar home game. It's originally scheduled for Northeastern. Throw to first, and again, Jarvis is back. We're at the far field, we'll show you the field that uh, we normally play at. Way down at that end, there's a South Catherine Street down that way. Alpert Barn is over to our left. Carden swings and misses. One ball, two strikes is the count. Now, but taking her time, now delivers. Change up. Almost came across the plate for a strike. Two and two. And about likes to throw that change up on the one two pitch. That's high. Three two. Well, that's a full count. Mm -hmm. 
And the pitch right down the middle. Hit foul. Didn't get a glove on it. That was a foul ball. If the third baseman Baker had gotten a glove on it, even just nipped it in fair territory, then uh, that would have been a fair ball. What a good buyer, untouched. And went by third base on the ground in foul territory. Line drive, base hit for Carden. Jarvis will stop at second. Carden on with the single. Now Aaron Garand at the plate. Nine nothing. Hornets leading. Bottom of the third. Nobody out. Garen, the leadoff hitter for the Cougars. O'Neill, as you see, close, looking for the bunt. Strike called, one and one. Baker also playing shallow at third base. Good time to drive the ball through the infield. Ooh, just missed. Most just missed. And center fielder Sullivan coming in that time to uh, cover second. Foul ball. Pitch from Manabut. Swung on. Foul off. Swing and a miss. Good healthy cut. Right out number one in the inning. Out number one, I should be saying. Now Brenda Bailey steps in. Makes a long, hard look at Colt Rivard. Ball one. Bunted oh. foul. Three and one to count, one out. One is at first and second. Bottom of the third. So I'm going to miss strike two. Well, it's a full count. I'll have a payoff pitch. to the left side, I'm going to go to third, get the force. Now, <clears throat> Bailey's on in the field his choice that she'd hit that type of ball in the early part of the at-bat when the fielders were all over the place. It might have been an interesting situation. This is Tisha Supernaw. Two outs now. Runners still at first and second. And about winds and delivers. Ball one. And a pitch. Ball two. And a pitch. Right down the middle. Strike one. Two balls and a strike. Fouled off, now to play. And a pitch. 
swung on a miss, strike three. So man about strikes out Superna. Cougars get their first two batters on. But then man about sets them down. One, two, three. And we go to the fourth inning. The Hornets leading nine nothing against Northeastern Clinton. Jenny Manabut at the plate, swings at the first offering and wisely deciding to get out of the way was Tisha Superna. Manabut lined it right at the legs of Superna and Superna said, hey, I think I'll get out of the way. And I could take one for the team and then finish the game in the hospital, but I think I'll get out of the way instead. Majo Cablet, the catcher. Hi, well hit. It's going to be a gapper. In the left center field gapper. That's going to score Manabut. Cablet will round. She'll be sent. This will be a clean home run for Majo Cablet. Two more in the scoring column for Plattsburgh. That brings up Keeley Sullivan. Fouls off the first one, strike one. Strike two. The Chili Cougar fans. All two the count. Popped up. Bailey. Calls everybody off. Squeezes it. Well, it's an out. The one down. I'll bring up Nikki Barry. Barry, a pinch hitter. Batting for the third baseman, Baker. Sun peeking out here. Pops it up. Hey, so this is my uh, forte here. Squeezes it. This one in fair territory. Two down. And Holly Bordeaux will step in. Ball on. Ball two. Ball three. Three and all. Strike. Three balls and a strike. High ball four. So Bordeaux walks. She'll go to first. And first baseman Beth O'Neill will step in. Ball one. Popped up. Dana Longwa. Langlois. In foul territory, squeezes it for the out. Couple of runs for the Hornets. It's now 11 nothing at the end of three and a half, halfway through the ball game. Amanda Dubuque at the plate, leading off the fourth inning for the Cougars. Takes it low, ball one. Plattsburgh leading it 11 to nothing. Lindsey Myers is now at first base. Dubuque with a base hit. Oh, base hit for Amanda Dubuque. Brings up right fielder Jenna Labombard.
Balwan. Swing and a miss. Well hit to left field. The Duke rounding second, heading for third. The Lombard will be in safely at second. The Duke's going to score. Here's the throw. And Mandy Dubuque scores on the front end of an RBI double from Jenna Lombard. So the Cougars are on the scoreboard. They'll bring up Kendra Young. Strike one. Two count and the pitch. Change up. Swung on and missed. Mm. This young is able to manage a smile on swinging at that change up. Now Margie Faye steps in. High ball one. One out, one on, one in, in the fourth. Ball. In the pitch. Hi. So Faye walks, goes to first. And Christy Driver steps in. Go for a ball. Swing and a miss. One and one to count. And a pitch. Swung on, fouled off. One and two to count. I believe there's just one out. And a pitch. Change up. That was her favorite change up. The it's your favorite change up count, one and two. Of course, she also does it on the 0 and 2, obviously. Foul off. Two and two, the count. Hit to the left side, knocked down by Manabut. In time. In time. Good play there by Manabut. Not much the Bombard could do about that one, and the one hit back to the pitcher. She's out on the force. Now Chantel Carden, designated hitter, steps in for the Cougars.
strike one. Top of the order on deck, two down. Strike. Change up, just missed. Two and two the count. Two down in the bottom of the fourth. High fly ball to center field. It is squeezed by the center fielder, Keely Sullivan. So the Cougars pick up a run. They trail 11-1 as we go to the fifth. It'll be Lindsey Myers then the top of the order. As we start the fifth. 11 1 Plattsburgh. Myers pops it up. Bay able to grab it. She had to wrestle Jim Barron to get the position there, but she managed to get it. Nice play there by Margie Faye. That's four pop ups she's got today. Now Kathy Ellen Davis will step in. The lead off hitter for the Hornets. Plattsburgh has scored in every inning thus far. drive for the extra bases for Davis she's going to be sent she will be sent be a, not sure how it was played in the outfield but until uh, we hear otherwise we'll give her a home run on that one now judge a caplet pops up the first pitch and runs it out. It's going to be an infield hit. <laughs> Fell in between. Nobody felt confident enough to call it, so it just fell in between them. It'll be an infield hit for Tablet and Jenny Manabut at the plate for Plattsburgh. Well hit. Fair ball. It's going to be at least three. It's going to be a home run. Gonna take your time on this one. Four bagger for Manabut. Brings up the shirt biting Majo Cablet. All right, a quick battery change. And we're back to the game and still come back here. Young throws it low. Nice, oh, almost a nice backup. Lombard had the right idea. Also going to go out of play, so she'll get second base. Gannon in to run. For Cablet again. Now Keely Sullivan at the plate. Out of play. Strike one. 
strike two. Faye's going back, but it's going to be off the backstop. 0-2. Oh High. Now the 1-2 pitch. Right down the middle, but off the plate. 2-2. Two -two. Jarvis winds and delivers. Good. We dropped. Throw to third. Nope, throw to the cutoff. Again goes to third. Sullivan ends up at second. Brings up Nikki Berry. She gets the first offering to the left side. Knocked down by Supernova. Fire to first will not be in time. Throw to third will not be in time. Or is the left fielder? Left fielder should be backing up the play right away. As soon as the ball's hit, now the outfielder should be uh, on their horses. We see the Lombardis come in to help out. But the outfielder should all get involved. 99% of the time, they'll be running for nothing, but it's that other 1% that can mean a difference in a close game. Strike one. They got her. Barry is out. Trying to steal, but that uh, allows Sullivan to score. Should be Bordeaux at the plate here. Holly Bordeaux. Hits it to short. Bailey fires the first. Nice stretch. Oh, nice stretch. But McConey, Bobby McConey right there says Longwell's foot was off the bag. If you're the first baseman, you got to catch the ball, and that's what Langlois did. You hope your foot's on the bag, but first thing is, you got to catch the ball, O'Neill, at the plate. You see a lot of times the first baseman will keep their foot in the bag and not catch the ball, and the ball goes out of play. So Langlois at least made sure the ball was caught. Hit to the left side, it's going to be through. But a lot of them, that left... Center left to pole on the left side of the infield between Short and the third baseman. Uh, Lindsey Myers will step in. And the pitch. Jarvis will squeeze it. Hornets strand two, so we'll count up the batters and the runs as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Aaron Garand is the batter as we start the bottom of the fifth. I believe the Hornets scored five more in the top half of the inning. So that makes it 16-1, but there's no... There's no run rule, to my knowledge, in high school sports. Aaron dances out of the way. Strike. Two and one to count. In time, one down, second baseman Bordeaux, almost able to catch it in the air, but uh, played it nicely, and uh, Meyer is getting back to cover. In time, now Brenda Bailey steps in, and man of, a, man of a deliberate pitcher here. Adds a few minutes to every game she plays in, I'm sure. I like a pitcher who pitches quick. And about likes to think about it for an extra 10 seconds. That's low. Oh, 
Foul off. Two and two the count. Change up is oh just just misses. Bailey <laughs> swung at one that got halfway to the plate the first time up there. Wasn't swinging at that one no matter what. Low. That was ball four, so Bailey walks. And Tisha Supernaw steps in. One out, runner at first, and a pitch. Ball one. Two short center field is going to drop. Bailey should have been halfway. He's going to be out. He's going to be out. Should have been halfway on that one. She went right back to the bag and uh, should have been halfway. That way, if it was caught, she had time to get back. And if it dropped in, as it did, she could make it in the second. Now, Amanda Dubuque at the plate. Two down. Fouls it off. Strike one. Dubuque, the cleanup hitter. She's out. Well, the Supernaw's out trying to steal. Not sure if that was uh, the coach's idea. I can't imagine stealing when you're down by so many runs, but who knows? Marjorie Faye doing her happy, happy, joy, joy dance. Kathy Ellen Davis at the plate. Strike one. Top of the sixth. 16-1, Plattsburgh leading. Emma Lee Colby has come in to play center field for Northeastern. Pitch from Young is hit sharply but foul. One, two pitches high. Two and two. String and a miss. Strike three. Drop third strike. Bay will fire the first. Longwell will put the tag on besides the force. One down. Now Jaja Cablet steps in. And way in front in the batter's box. It's at the third. Supernaw. The ball was dirty. Two down. And Jenny Manabut steps in. Strike one. <laughs> Young ahead, 0-2 on the count. Uh, the one-two delivery is swung on, and the yanked foul again. Oh, off the barn over there, off that shed. That's out of play. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs in the sixth. Low. Foul off. Low. Ball goes out of play. Man, I bet we'll get an extra base. Or not. Uh, 
Apparently the batter doesn't. This is Majo Cablet. Hits it by the third baseman. Supernaut misplayed by Garen. Be out of play. Keely Sullivan in that plate. Hits the first pitch to Garen, and Garen will squeeze it. So the first time in the ball game, the Hornets are scoreless in their half of the inning. Remains 16-1 as we go to the bottom of the sixth. Amanda Dubuque at the plate. We get set to start at the bottom of the sixth. Here's the pitch, ball one. Hit to right field. Casey Marsteller just in the game. Makes the catch. One down. Now get us to Jenna, Jenna LaBombard. Hits it sharply to third. Knocked down. Fire to first. In time. Nice play there by Nikki Berry. Stuck with that hard hit ball. Made the play. Two down. And about an hour will be Kendra Young. Two outs, nobody on for the Cougars. Here's the pitch. High ball one. One one. One, two. Change up. Two and two. Three, two. Payoff pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Three up, three down, nothing across for the Cougars after six full innings. 16-1, Plattsburgh leads. Strike one to Nikki Berry as we start the seventh inning. Hits it sharply down the third base side, fair ball. Berry's on with a single. Bring up Holly Bordeaux. Young delivers. Strike one. Barry will go to second. I believe that's a 2-1 count. High ball three. Three and one count. Young winds and delivers. Strike two, full count. And a payoff pitch. Swung on, hit deep to center field. It was caught by Colby. It'll be a sacrifice fly as Barry scores. Now Beth O'Neill steps in. Strike one. Locked up. Faye gets another opportunity, and she's handled all of them so far. It's at least five that she's caught. Two down, and Lindsay Myers at the plate. Hits it up the middle. Base hit for Myers. It's a little congratulation from first base coach Davis. Now Kathy Ellen Davis will step in. Mm. 
one one pitch fouled off strike two one two pitch just missed count even two balls two strikes and the pitch from young swung on fouled off the fist another two two pitch fouled off again It's 3-2 count. Now we have to make a quick battery change. Another foul ball. Break three. Looking. After all those foul balls, Davis goes down looking. Going to the bottom of the seventh. 16-1. On it. Marjorie Fay steps in. She's going to face the brand new pitcher, Lindsey Myers. Manabuts move to first base. Meyer now on the pitching rubber. Bottom of the seventh in a seven inning ball game. Strike one. Foul off. One and two the count. Foul ball. Count holds. Now the pitch. Change up. Now a two two pitch. Swung on. Hit Trapley to second. Over to first. In time for the out. So Bordeaux. Two mana, but we have one down. Now Emma Lee Colby up for the first time. Hits it to the left side. Throw to first. And she'll get second base. Now we have strike one to Chantel Carden. Pitch, change up, one and two. Foul off. Up that bad play. We had a battery that died very suddenly on us. And Cardin hit the next pitch to short center field. It's the second out. Top of the order now for the Cougars, Aaron Guerin. Northeastern down to their last out. Pitch from Myers is ball one. Marsteller makes the catch to end the ball game. So it's a 16 to 1 victory for the visiting home team here, the home visiting team, whatever the case may be. We're at South Acres, but it's the Cougar home game. 16 1, Plattsburgh defeats the Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars, and that's the way it was in CBAC varsity softball play, May 11th, 2000. We've been at South Acres Field in beautiful downtown Plattsburgh. You've been watching and hopefully you are supporting Hometown Cable's efforts.